I'm Builder, Petty Officer, Third Class Cello, and I'm in the United States Navy. I'm a CB. <laughs> I'm Construction Man Heck. I'm an Equipment Operator in the United States Navy. I'm Construction Man Ruffalo. I'm an Equipment Operator, and I'm in the United States Navy. Perfect. So what's the best part of, of Fleet Week that you're looking forward to? Um, just showing everybody uh, basically what we do, uh, what our mission is, and showing off all my tools since I'm a builder. I have a lot of cool equipment that I can show off to the little kids, you know. What made you jump? I want to get out of Illinois. <laughs> um, I was going to school for a nonprofit, so I figured military would be a little faster, and CB community especially with a lot of humanitarian work they do, and just to help out others is what I've always wanted to do sense of pride but it, like I said at the same time it's it's a way to help others um, and being the first one in my family it was hard to do a lot of people questioned me like why would I want to join the military and just to help others what I've always wanted to do. We got in earlier this week beginning of this week uh, we came up to support San Francisco Fleet Week and support the Marines and sailors that are coming out here to interact with the community of San Francisco. Most importantly is connecting with the people of San Francisco and the surrounding areas. This is a great opportunity for Marines and sailors to get to meet some of the people in the local community as well as the local community to put a face to the uniform and really get to talk to and interact with their uniform service members, learn about some of the capabilities that they have, that, that we have, um, and, and just really get to interact with them, have a fun weekend, and, and celebrate the, the United States military. When I hear the words of thank you for your service um, from civilians, I really, I really appreciate it because, like, that lets me know that they, um, you know, are are very supportive. Like, you, you don't get that many people that supportive of uh, their family is going to the military. So when when I hear it, I really feel proud. Um, liberty is when you get a chance to like. It's your free time. It's you get to do whatever you want, as long as it's not uh, illegal. Long, as long as long you can drink, uh, as long as you're of age, and make sure you drink responsibly, um, not get in no type of trouble or anything like that. You know, um, the best part of the employment is when you know we get some liberty. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. When we get liberty, oh, it's on the pocket. But I know the next day I gotta go back to work, so I, you know I don't be cooking about that. But you know, I, I enjoy it. Um, it's great. Uh, the experiences that I get, um, like, is one of a kind. Uh, I've been overseas, had a lot of opportunities to work overseas with so many different walks of life and many different financial levels and stuff like that. Whether they have a lot of money or people that don't really have too much money, and I'm able to provide help to each one of those types of people. Uh, the best part of Fleet Week is just. First of all, again, to inform people about the CBs, right? Um, and bring it back the, um, well, the love for the military, right? It brings people together. Um, you get to see a lot of, like, happy people and people taking pride in the country that they live in. So that's pretty cool, you know? How does it feel to hear the words when a civilian says, thank you for your service? How do you feel? Um, I always try to make sure that uh, they know that we do it for uh, people like them. I always say that afterwards when they say something like that. Um, I take pride in it, and but I also know that if we didn't have these civilians in the population that we do have them, that we wouldn't be serving, you know, the country that we call United States. And so I'm very thankful for the opportunity to be able to do it.